All right, so today's question of the day comes from Future Sailor Jackson, and Future Sailor Jackson asks, would I ever consider doing 20 years in the military? So for the retirement benefit, so one of the main biggest thing uh, people look at in terms of retirement in the military is that steady check that you get at the at the end of your 20 years you retire and every month you get a certain amount of money from the government because of your service so uh personally for me right before i actively joined the military you know went full you know shipped out for boot camp and stuff like that i never really wanted to do the military as a career path right so i came in knowing that i only wanted to do a, a short temporary time right so i signed up for a four years active one year extension so five year active duty contract uh and i am trying you know to get out in three years which you can by the early release program so that is kind of what i'm hoping on and banking on it's not a guarantee uh i have a you know slight few chance percentage wise um but you know that's just kind of what i'm hoping for and i you know i hope I can get out at my third year mark because then, you know, you still get your full GI Bill and stuff like that. Because if you do anything less than three years, you don't get full GI, Montgomery GI Bill. Um, but anyway, right, before I joined the military real quick, you know, I had a business, it failed. With that stress, I decided, hey, let me just do something else temporarily, just kind of cool off, see where I went wrong and see where I need to improve, see kind of you know, trying to find myself and, you know, I'm in the military and doing just that, right? Um, <clears throat> so one of the things that I want to recommend uh, to you from my own personal observations and experience is there are people that, you know, come into the military, they don't really know what they want to do with their life and their routine every single day is, they go to work at seven, come home at like you know three or four, whatever the case may be, and for the rest of the day, they just kind of relax, watch Netflix, chill, hang out with friends, and they do that for four, five, or six years of their contract. And at the end of their contract, right, you know, they find themselves, man, I don't know what I want to do outside of the military. I'm scared, right? I have no other experiences. I don't know if I can do anything else. Right. And so they end up re-enlisting. Right. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're doing 20 years. But there are also some people, uh, for example, <clears throat> not too long ago, there was somebody she joined uh, when she was 17 years young. And then, you know, she recently got out of this year of the, of the Navy because she did four years and then she wanted to re-enlist. Right. She didn't really know what else she wanted to do with her life. Um, but the thing is, right. Just because you want to re-enlist doesn't mean necessarily mean you're going to get it, okay? Because when you, uh, there's a whole process of re-enlisting, but you, that can get denied. And this was that case for this individual. And so she wanted to stay in, but she was denied that re-enlistment. And, and she was denied, you know, going to a different rate, re-rating and stuff like that. So she ended up having to leave, right? So one thing that I recommend is to have a plan, have a goal that you want to accomplish when you are in the military, okay? So two things that I recommend with that. Number one, save money, okay? Money gives you options, okay? There are a lot of people that I see in the military that stay in the military because they do not have money, Okay, they have you know hundred dollars in their bank account, and they have three cars and an apartment, and they say, "Man, I have to make my payments, right? I don't want to lose all these stuff." So they re-enlist, and then you know initially they came in, "Oh, I'm not going to do 20 years. I hate the military, whatever the case may be," and they end up staying in for 20 years, right? So save money, number one. Number two. Right, like I said before, people start work at seven. Just, just to give you an example. This is not the exact hours. Work at seven, and then let's say end at three o'clock afternoon. And for the rest of the day, they just kind of chill, do nothing, hang out with friends, whatever the case may be. Best thing that I can recommend: if you do not know what you want to do for the rest of your life while you are in the military, figure it out. Right. For example, I want to be in real estate. Right. So. 
at the same time, you know, I want to do a lot with social media. So that's exactly what I'm doing. But for example, let's say I don't want to do social media and I want to be in real estate, right? So what I would do is I would get a car, a vehicle number one, right? After I finish my work in the military, after hours, I would work part-time for a real estate firm, right? Whether it's Berkshire Hathaway's, Kelly Williams, or, uh, you know, Coldwell Bankers, whatever the case may be. Remax, I would work and intern there part time or work there part time or get my, you know, broker's license. And, you know, I I'd figure it out. I test it out. If I like it, I'll, I'll continue to do it after my military. If I don't like it, you know, I'll find something else. Right. So when you are in the military and you don't know what you want to do for the next and have a plan B. Right. Well, if you don't know what you want to do, start by figuring it out. All right. So that is uh, what I recommend you to do. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great maybe day.